Hey, Soneo, play the video, my first geocache. Please wait. Video is loading. Still 7.2 kilometers to the final. Still 4.8 kilometers to the final. Still 2.3 kilometers to the final. to the final. Hey, Soneo. Please, please. So, 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 bin ich auch so stabig wie die Gitarre. Die Aber mein Finger ist kaputt jetzt. Aber es ist scharf. Wenn ich das sage, werfst du das Sack ab. Noch einmal. Ah, noch einmal, das ist ja ganz schön weiß. Bist du das? Ja. <lacht> Warum? Ich meine, ah, ich habe mich gesehen, aber so gut. Nicht gucken. Jetzt gleiten die Glocke. Ich hab kein Geräusch. Ich hab's gemacht. Mir tropst als du was raus, gell? Sind 40 Grad? Ja, 40 Grad. Das ist auch nicht von der, von der Schlüsselzähne. Ja, die absolut, Sitze. absolut. Geocache. <lacht> Over and out. Good morning, Dr. Jones. I understand that you just came back from another great expedition. Oh, yes, yes. Very exciting. I have always wanted to have the Ape Cache icon in my profile. So, I went for the historic Mission 9 Tunnel of Lights Ape Cache. Seeing that amazing tunnel approaching is thrilling. As you go further into the tunnel, you begin to see a little light dot on the distance. As you keep walking, That little dot gets bigger and bigger until you finally see the other side of the mountain. And then the container appears and you scream so loud that you scare off all the birds in the nearby trees. Oh, 
It's an awesome experience and I strongly recommend everyone to do the same as I did. What about the other ape cache? Wait, what? What other ape cache? Ah, Mission for Southern Bow Ape Cache in Brazil. This ape cache lies deep into the jungle in a park called Intervales. A beautiful place with many amazing trails, lakes, a lot of caves, waterfalls, exotic plants and colorful birds. On top of that, Intervales has a lot of deer caches and the best 20 of them make up the Ape Brazil Geotour. It's a geocache wonderland and a real geocaching jungle experience. You know what people are saying? That when it comes to Ape Cache, if you only have one, you have none. So Dr. Jones, what do you think about Brazil for our next expedition? Hey, Dr. Jones, where the heck did Dr. Jones go to?
They say size doesn't matter and I'd have to agree, but the geocaching rules say definitively what's a small, what's a large, hey, between you and me, is other only used to hide stuff in a tree? So allow us just a moment to tutorialize all the geocache containers as pertains to size. This is called a micro and most cachers agree. If it's tiny, it's a micro. There's no controversy. A shoebox is a size they call regular, an ammo can too, or a cookie jar. And a large is a large is a large is a large, from a five gallon tub to an auto barge. It's the small that's the trouble, makes cashers crazed. The way people argue over small, you'd be amazed. You'd think they'd have a better subject to take up, like the cuteness factor of your favorite geo pup. The geocaching question that is up for debate is what constitutes a small. Carolyn, set them straight. A small must fit a sandwich. There's no latitude. If it doesn't fit a sandwich, it's a micro, dude. The sandwich rule is meant to approximate. A small could be a box that you camoed great. A bottle that you formerly used to hide great. A giant fake snail or magnetic wall plate. Well, a wall plate's a small? Were you raised in a barn? Or perhaps are you just strung out on chili con carne? I think your needs to review his Spanish big time. Nah, I'm pretty sure he really just needed it to rhyme. Here's a small. That's a small, that's a tennis ball. A tennis ball's a micro. That's a judgment call. Any fool can tell you that you can't concoct. The size is on your own without getting mocked. I think that it's high time that I interject a possible solution to this fraught subject. Another category of size, you guys, between micro and small. Yeah, a new size. Sim a little is what I advocate. Sim a little is what they should create. It's kind of little, but a little big. It's bigger than a golf ball, smaller than a guinea pig. Sim a little is the size we desire. Sim a little is the best to have fire. Sim a little does set us all on fire. Sim a little's catchier than signal with a lyre. Sim a little is the size we need. Sim a little, a new size indeed. Sam a little, it's like an attribute. Except instead of falling rocks, it's really kind of cute. It's easier for HQ to be non-committal and just pretend I did not get this video submittal. Hey, you must admit it's fun to say semi-little. But if you say it really fast, you get a little spittle. I will leave you with the final thought on taking this leap. The sheer cost of recoding would be very steep. But you have to pay attention when the masses speak. Especially when it's done with silly rap technique. Think, Think about, about it, semi-little. Think, Think about it. Semi-little. 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 Think about it. The existential question that is up for debate is what constitutes a small bar. Uh, <laughs> so allow us just a moment to tutorialize. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so allow us just a moment. Nope, I didn't get it. Allow. Is what constitutes a small. Bob, set them straight. If it doesn't fit the sandwich. <laughs> God. God. <laughs> is what constitutes a small. Carl, set them straight. <laughs> Or perhaps you just... Uh, uh, uh. Whoa, a wall plate is a small... <laughs> ah. Whoa, a wall plate... Oh, are you filming? Yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. Okay.
V dlhej dobe sa nám podarilo dohodnúť pravidla fungovania geocachingu v zóne priamo s vedením, kde sa dohodli nejaké určité pravidla fungovania, umiestňovania tých kešiek a samozrejme aj schvalovania. Takže my z pohľadu nášho kešerského sa veľmi tešíme tomu, že tú možnosť tu máme. Je to otvorené svetu. A okrem toho, že teda nájdu tí kešeri tu nejakú samotnú krabičku, tak okrem toho nájdu k tomu aj dostatočné informácie o tom konkrétnom mieste, ktoré myslíme si, že je veľmi zaujímavé. Última hora sobre la crisis de los satélites. El sistema GPS ha petado. El geocaching ya no es posible. Increíble hallazgo. Localizado un geocacher perdido durante la crisis de los satélites 2019. Pobrecito. Parece encontrarse en estado de hibernación. Vamos, congelado. El paciente sobrevivirá, pero para él el tiempo no ha transcurrido. Entonces, su sí que está en peligro. Era un fana del geocaching. Hay que evitarle el cagazo de descubrir que ya no existe. ¿Y cómo hacemos eso?
Pero ¿cómo se le da tan mal? Si no puede ser más sencillo. Tenemos que decírselo ya. Como psicólogo, esta oportunidad es macanuda. La clave para resolver este quilombo es no ser brusco. Ya está bien de tontunas. Este payaso se va a enterar ya. Este, tenemos que contarte una cosita, de nada. No, estamos en 2019. Bueno, pero vos no tenés que estresarte. El geocaching ya no existe. Bueno, pues eso es lo importante. Los satélites colapsaron. Y los satélites han desaparecido. Hi, I'm a busy working mom and sometimes people ask me how I find the time to go geocaching. Well, come with me. Today I'm going to show you some of my secrets. Hey guys, do you want to go get some geocaches with me? No! no. Haven't you found them all already? Okay, do you want me to go get some donuts? Yeah! Yeah, donuts! Okay, I'll be right back. Mom, why are you putting boots on to go get donuts? Well, you should always take care of your feet. I need to go by the electronics store on my way home. Do you want anything? Oh, you know me. I'll, I'll text you a list. Uh, yeah, don't forget your pencil. Okay, I'll be home soon. Hey guys, do you want me to get you some smoothies? Just a minute! What? We knew your secret the whole time.
well, maybe my secrets weren't so secret after all, but hey, you gotta go with what works. Hey guys, I heard about a new pizza place. It's 40 miles away, but I hear it's really good. Are you tired of narrowly missing being first to find? I'm just never fast enough. Are you unable to get to great far away geocaching locations? Who can afford to travel these days? Well, I have a solution for you. Introducing a brand new handheld GPS receiver, the Geocaching Express 6000. What can this do that my current GPS receiver can't do? Check it out. First, enter the coordinates of the geocache you are seeking. Then press Enter. Wow! Is this a teleportation portal? Exactly! Jump through to get to that geocache. Found it! Sorry, this time I was first to find, thanks to the Geocaching Express 6000. Travel to those geocache locations you've always wanted to visit. Wow! New York City! I've always wanted to geocache there! Order now and you'll get this fabulous return feature added in for free. Perfect for emergency situations. How does it work? Calmly press the return button. And jump through the portal to return to your starting location. Receiver. But wait, there's more! The Geocaching Express 6000 has state-of-the-art shock protection. Found it! But wait! There's more? The Geocaching Express 6000 is now waterproof. it. Call right now and we'll double the offer. Yes, that's two GPS receivers for the low price of just $40. Wow, what a deal. How can I get my very own Geocaching Express 6000? Here's how to order. Send check or money order to the address on your screen or call the number you see. Operators are standing by.
Hallo! Nein! Oh, verdammt! Hallo, Palk? Hallo! Nein!
Hey, Priya, it has been a year. What have you been up to? I'm now even more experienced geocacher, as I have found 129 caches. Well, that's nice to hear. Have you learned something new? Yes, I have. I have learned that you have to be very stealthy while geocaching. And I will show you my techniques, what I have learned. First we came to show to very urban geogas. And what is difficult here is that there are so many geomuggles everywhere. So I have to be very stealthy. But I think I will do it. Yes, it's Praia here. Yes, this is a very good trick. They are thinking that I'm talking to the phone, but I'm not. In urban areas it's very hard to find gas because GPS goes chick chak and I don't know where to go. These very, very tiny urban caches can be very, very tricky because there are so many muggles everywhere. But I found it and now I will log it. But I will continue to the uh, forest because I like forest caches more because there are no muggles. Forest caches are very nice because there are no muggles. But there are some other obstacles like eyes. But I have this kind of tool and I can go through it and dig it. This is very hard but this might take a lot of time, but I think I will do it. I managed to take all of the ice for the wall and unfortunately it seems like the gas is not here. So I have to share somewhere else. Oh, I found the gas from a little bit off from the first place, and, but there are a little bit ice, so I have to a little bit dig it. Oh, I think I broke it, the gas. So. Unfortunately, I broke the gas, but don't worry, I have spare ones in my backpack. I knew I had exactly the same. Now we have just to replace this and continue the next one. Oh, there is a muggle coming. I need to hide. This is an invisibility cloak. I bought it from Geocoin Shop. I will hide under it. I knew it will work. Last visitor wasn't stealthy enough. This mark in the snow revealed me that the gas is here. You just reach it and grab it. Here is the gas. Easy find. You should do it better. You shouldn't leave any marks. You should also cover your tracks, otherwise there will be a trail to the gas. Being stealthy is a very hard job. I just can't believe that somebody wants 100 gases in a day. But it's not all about numbers for me.
we here? Is it to find another geocache? Yes, we're here to find another geocache. And if we're lucky, we might get first to find on this one. Come on, let's go. What's this for? You never know what might happen. You can never be too prepared for the unexpected. That's weird. What? The phone's GPS is on the fritz. I can't tell where that geocache is. Are we lost? Possibly. Well, where's the GPS I gave you for Christmas last year? I... I left that in the car. Well, what about the pen? You at least brought the pen, right? Ah, uh, I left that in the car too. We gotta get back to the car, come on. Are we lost? What about the cat? Don't look back! Run, run, don't look back, run! There's a trail here this whole time? Kid, where are you? I'm here! Where? Here! Where's here? in the woods, separated, chased by whoever in the heck that was, and now we finally find the cache only to find out it's a, it's a nano in the woods? Oh. Can I sign that when you're finished? I was looking for that too. Okay, what can we do today? I don't know, some geocaches? Have you seen the new pirates you catch? No. Okay, take a look.
What are you doing? Try with Wonderland. 